Hey everyone, welcome back to my custom farm toy series. Uh, it's been a long time, um, but with farm show or farm toy show season just around the corner, uh, at least in this part of the country, I decided it was time to start working on some stuff again. Um, <coughs> I have put a little bit of time into this pulling tractor uh, over the last couple months. Uh, it's mostly completed now. Um, this side is pretty well done. I got to do the chrome panel on the other side and put the decals on. Um, probably going to look for a few more decals, maybe some sponsorship decals or a name or something to put on this one. Um, but really, really happy with the way this one turned out. Uh, the detail painting on the seat and on the dash and things like that. I uh, really like the rims that I used on the front of this one. Um, so really happy with this one. Uh, one thing that I did that uh, I would strongly recommend um, is in the past I've always used a pin vise for uh, drilling holes and stuff. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that looks like, uh, that's this right here. You put your little drill bits in it and you just use it with your fingers to drill a hole. Um, I got really sick of that and it was taking way too long and it was kind of um, it was kind of discouraging me from working on my projects. And so what I did was I bought a collet kit for my Dremel. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it basically it comes with different size collets just like the just like the pin vise would. Um, but that allows me to use my bits in my Dremel and then I have a multi-speed Dremel so I just use it on a low speed so I don't snap the bits off but uh, that that made a big difference um, it's been a lot nicer to work on projects having that so I would strongly recommend that uh, if you got a Dremel uh, to get something like that instead of messing around with the, the pin vise but uh, yeah I think we're probably gonna finish that up tonight and uh, I got one of the 3d printed four-wheelers here uh, that I got to do some detail painting on yet and I'd like to finish that up and then uh, we'll see what next project we find next. I know I got a lot of partial ones started around here um, and I'd really like to get uh, some more stuff done on my display. I actually am um, just about to order a static grass applicator uh, and that'll help move things along uh, much quicker. So uh, look for that here uh, coming up and uh, we'll see what I get done today. Alright guys, for all practical purposes, I think we're going to call this one finished. Um, we may do something, if I can find uh, some nice chrome tubing or something, we might make a tank for the front of it, or you know, there's always room for improvement. Um, but uh, yeah, I've really kind of fallen in love with this one. I'm going to bring it in close here, I don't know if you'll see those gauges or not that I painted on there and some of the detail, but um, I really do enjoy making these pulling tractors. Um, it's just, it's fun to me, um, you can get kind of creative. Uh, I've got another one in the works, uh, but there was a lot of casting work that needed to be done on that one, so I don't entirely remember where I left off with that one. That project was a long time ago, um, but uh, I might dig that one out and work on that a little bit. We've also still got a 7800 that we've been working on. I've been having some paint issues with this one, but I think we're just going to go ahead and finish it anyways. Um, and uh, I've got a bunch more of these to do as well. Uh, this is another model that I kind of took a liking to. I like the way that Ertl built it. Um, it makes it easy to uh, to customize, uh, and then uh, there's just some nice aftermarket parts for it. Uh, so we'll be working on that one as well. Uh, four wheeler still got some paint to do on that, but uh, that's coming along quite nicely. And uh, then we can cross a couple of projects off of our list. Uh, bing bang boom, just like that in a hurry. Um, but uh, I think I'm gonna leave you guys with that for tonight. Um, we have an early morning tomorrow. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope to be a little more consistent with uploads, but uh, you just never know. Uh, life gets busy and, and whatnot. But uh, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, check back for more. Uh, like I said, hope to have more updates soon.